My name is Andrea Guzman, and I work as a public information coordinator for the city attorney's office in San Francisco. A lot of it's working with the public and trying to address their public records requests and trying to get the information that they would like from our office. I double majored in media studies and political science, so I was always really interested in how to combine both of those majors. So I ended up kind of doing a combination of um, just doing a lot of communications work for government because it was something that I thought could really connect both of my studies, things that I was really interested in, but also be a way to kind of showcase the important work that government's doing. My name is Gusty Clark and I work for the San Francisco Transportation Agency in San Francisco, as you may know it as Muni, and I am a Senior Advisor of Workforce Development. I first started out nonprofit and then I came to San Francisco from Seattle and started working in technology, which I liked a lot, but then I realized I needed to get back to working with people. This opportunity at MTA came up by way of an executive fellowship. They had a program at MTA to be able to work in workforce development type projects, so I definitely jumped on that. I didn't know that this was something that I wanted to do. All that I knew is that I wanted to help people and I wanted to empower others. The environment that I grew up in, a lot of women were just stay-at-home moms and it wasn't because they weren't interested in working, but it was just kind of the best thing to do because there weren't a lot of opportunities. It was often cheaper for them to just stay home or, and be able to watch the kids instead of paying for very pricey um, daycare centers when there wasn't a great job opportunity for them. My mom came from El Salvador um, during the Civil War, so she was very limited in her opportunities to set a career. She was studying law when she was in her country, but um, when she came here due to her English limitations and being kind of new to the country, she kind of had to do a service job. And then when I was born and she had other kids, it was really difficult for her to work just because it was more expensive for her to be able to continue working at a job that didn't pay well versus um, her just staying at home and being able to actually take care of us. There isn't as much support or advocacy for black women to be able to come in and, and help them kind of do their job and things like that. There are also aren't very many role models. So I think in that sense it can be intimidating and you could feel um, sometimes uncomfortable or just unsure of yourself. And I think those types of situations are exactly why you need to do it. When I first heard of the opportunity, the immediate thing I said was, oh no, that's not for me. My previous role before coming here was a project manager for a small biotech startup. So I was just thinking, I don't know, how do I go from technology to working in government thinking that I don't know if my skills, how am I, am I going to fit in, can I do the work, that kind of a thing. Thinking that you know everything or have to know everything, that's not what people expect of you, but they do expect you to ask questions when you don't know, and that's important. Um, my mom was actually diagnosed with cancer uh, my freshman year, so that was really difficult. She still encouraged me to continue going to school because she knew that if anything happened, my education would be able to provide the best protection. I didn't really have like a very clear picture of what I wanted my career to be or what um, I wanted beyond college. So I thought that just going to a good school would be just the best way to kind of set the trajectory and just prepare me for um, the rest of my life. You need the hardships to learn some of the, some of the things that are going to ultimately be your strengths later on in the future. There's no way to map that out or to tell or no one can tell you those things. They're just things that you have to go through on your own. But that's the point of life. You get to live life and you get to experience and figure out more things about yourself. You don't have to know what you're going to do for the rest of your life going into college or even in high school because there's so many different interests and so many different things that you can do. So it's okay to not know exactly what you want to do, but I would just encourage you to try everything that you're remotely interested in because it's really the best time to do it. Being a young woman and having so many different opportunities now and so many different fields, I would just say just go for it and try anything.